Attention on deck. Either watch this review or I will open fire. What's going on folks and welcome to another Reputized video. Hunter Killer is directed by Donovan Marsh and stars Gerard Butler, Gary Oldman, and Common. It's all about this American submarine captain who teams up with the Navy SEALs to rescue the Russian president who has been kidnapped by a rogue general. Alright, I'm going to do this review a little differently by starting off with the positives and then delving on from there. Alright, so let's get this started. Starting with the positives, Tom Murray's cinematography work was just excellent. It was very beautiful, especially the shots with the sea and like the open ocean. This would take place in Russia, places like that, and it, it was just fantastic. The atmosphere and everything, it was done just perfectly. And I really enjoyed the views on what this guy set out for this movie. Plus, it looked so clear that I, I thought I was watching a Blu-ray there for a second, which I know every movie that comes to theater is digital. The screen on the theater itself, I don't know what it's made of, but sometimes it's not that clear for other movies. The way the cinematography was done in this, it just made it look really crystal-like, almost 4K even. Trevor Morris's score was just great. So the characters was done re very well. I have seen other Gerard Butler movies. He's always good in what he does. The first movie I remember seeing him in was the first 300 back in 06. I, I like him as an actor. His character was one of those smart alecky types, but at the same time, he's serious. And he would throw out a good joke every now and then that people would laugh to. Gary Oldman, he was pretty good as one of the commanding officers for the U.S. government. He's a pretty good actor. I liked his character in this. He showed good authority as well. Common, he was actually uh, an old school rapper back in the day. I don't know if he's one now, but he used to rap with De La Soul, which was another one of my favorite rap groups. So he did a pretty good job in this movie. Like I said, the characters and everything was done really well. It was written good. The direction, it was okay. Donovan Marsh, he did a pretty good job. I've never heard of this director until just now. I don't know if he's one of those, one of these up and coming directors that's just breaking out or what, but he did a pretty good job. And as I said about the direction, it wasn't until the third, maybe the second act is when it finally took off for me. I, I got a sense of what was being told finally which brings me to the negatives i was hoping this movie would have a little more action in it but it wasn't at times it, it felt really slow and it just didn't really feel like your basic action movie that you would expect out of something like this now this movie was also done over the finance of millennium who also released movies such as the the expendables movies and the Hitman's Bodyguard last year. So I know this may sound silly, but as soon as I saw that logo in the trailer, I thought for sure it was going to be one of those hard-hitting action films, but it really wasn't. It was kind of how a true story would kind of go. Like when you would watch a movie based on a true story, you have all these dramatic moments, real drawn-out moments, that's what it reminded me of. I'm not sure if this movie was based on a true story, but the way the story was told, I would think it could happen. And the pacing was off. It just, it felt a little boring, and I just couldn't really get into most of it. But by the time the second or third act happened, I was kind of intrigued. There was some action moments in there, so I'm not knocking it completely, but there was some action moments in there that I actually did like. But it just wasn't enough for me, if that makes any sense. The feel, it just felt a little drawn down. They, they could have added more to this, especially for something that Gerard Butler was in. Because it just seems like every single one of his movies, if it's action movies, it's going to be hardcore. They just could have done a little, a little more in this movie, is all I'm saying. My final thoughts on this movie, it was okay. I would recommend you seeing it at a matinee or something like that, or at the Dollar Theater, like later on down the road. It wasn't epic, epic, but it was good enough. So a lot of people think that a lot of action, too much action, kind of 
kind of what I like is a little too much. But hey, we're all different, aren't we? Hunter Killer gets a C+. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really do appreciate it. What did you think of Hunter Killer? Did you like it, or was your thoughts the same as me? Did you think it was okay? Let me know down in the comment section below. Look forward to more reviews coming soon. Like, subscribe, get reputized. If you like this video, share, send the word out. I'm here all week. Peace to rip out.